All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out the Tenorshare 4DDIG, which is a data recovery software that allows you to scan your computer or peripheral devices slash uh, storage drives for missing or deleted files. So what's, what's going on when you end up wanting to use this software? Well, let's say you're like me and you move a lot of data around between computers, specifically in this case between Mac and PC, and you got a bunch of project files, like a bunch of photos that you saved off the web and a bunch of video projects that you've completed that you need to take with you to present or to upload to the web and something happens, you know, you delete them by mistake or you're moving files and there's a power outage and they get corrupted. Whatever happens, those are important potential project files or files from your life for like, you know, family photos that you can't get back and you want to scan for and recover them. And you can do that with this software. So I'm going to go ahead and format my PC Mac transfer drive and delete all of these photos and videos. And I'm just going to do a basic format to delete everything on there. And then we're going to be like, oh, no, we've deleted my important files. Whatever will I do? Well, you got a bunch of different options here. You can basically select from any of the drives or devices plugged into the computer. In this case, I've got the option for the XFAT USB drive here, or I can search the USB drive for a lost partition if something gets corrupted. And you've also got the option to scan for things like desktop, your recycling bin, where a lot of stuff gets accidentally deleted or even doing some repair on a crash computer. But what I'm looking for is I just want to scan through my USB drive for missing photos and videos. So I'm just going to select that and then I'm going to click on start. And then this is going to begin the process of scanning through that USB drive and trying to find literally everything it possibly can in order to recover it. And this takes on a couple of different forms. Um, the first thing is it's going to scan for the top level files. These are going to be things like recently deleted files, maybe files that uh, have been deleted, but they haven't been completely overwritten yet. And then after it's done doing that, it's going to scan the deepest layers of your drive in order to see what else it can find. This is things like long deleted files, files that have been partially overwritten, or even things that you thought were completely lost from a bajillion years ago when you went to go visit that log cabin in Pennsylvania. I don't know, but it's going to look for literally everything. And then we're going to come back once it's done doing a deep level file scan. And we're going to sort through all those different files and see what they look like and see if we can recover the ones that I'm looking to recover. And this process shouldn't take too long. The current estimation of how long it'll take to scan through this entire 64 gig thumb drive is about 10 minutes, which isn't bad. Although your mileage may vary depending on things like the age of your drive, if it's starting to fail, the size of it's going to matter. And also if something is going wrong and you're trying to recover data from like a failing drive, it's obviously going to take a little bit longer. So it's been about 10 minutes and the first half of the scan is done, which is the part of the scan that we were looking for, which was the fast scan. And that looked for all of the most recently deleted files. If we go over here under lost location files, you'll notice that it's got a bunch of stuff that has names already on it. Like here's my OBS tutorial. Here's my Netflix tutorial. Here's my green bot tutorial and my restore the YouTube uh, dislike button tutorial. And those were all found. And it even has the original name and it has the correct uh, file size as well. And if I go through here to some of these different pictures that it's got, I can double click on them and I can actually open them and I can take a look at them. And you can see that I did a really good job of recovering all of my most recently deleted photos so that not only can I read them, but I can instantly preview them using Windows built in photo viewer so that I can actually see that they completely recovered intact. Even the GIF works. You can see the GIF here is animated still 
and everything works. There's no distortion or glitchiness. And we can keep going through here and we can make sure that every single one of the files that we wanted to recover managed to stay intact. And so now, as it's still doing the deep level file scan, we can start identifying all of the different photos and videos that we want to save and we can go through and we can check them. We don't even have to wait for the software to completely finish, although if we want to, we can go up to the top bar here and we can click pause or we can even click on the square to stop it. And then we can select all of these that we want to save. And we don't necessarily have to wait till it's completely done, although in total, I think both both scans, the fast and the deep scan, we're only going to end up taking a little under 20 minutes in order to complete because it definitely didn't take the whole 10 minutes to complete the fast scan portion. And so we can just go through here and we can just grab all the files that we want to recover and then we can click on the blue recover button. Now from here, it's going to ask us where we want to put our recovered files. I will make a note that no matter what file recovery software you're trying to use, you should always, always, always make sure you're not recovering data from a damaged or failing drive back onto that same drive because that increases the likelihood that you will permanently lose your file. But in our case, I don't really, it doesn't really matter because this is from a thumb drive onto my main computer. So I'm just going to go into my space drive and then I'm going to go down to test recovery programs and then inside of here there's already a 4DG folder so I'm just going to recover it here alongside the previous recovery folder. I'm going to hit recover and then it's going to copy over all of those files that I just decided to save from my unquotes you know accidentally deleted stuff off of my thumb drive and as you can see it actually goes relatively quickly especially considering I know for a fact a lot of these videos are several gigs in size that are being recovered and pulled off of this thumb drive. All right, so after a brief moment, it completes the recovery and we can click on the view recovered files button in order to go into our folder. And here's all of the files that I wanted to recover. And it's easy to tell at a glance that these all recovered successfully because all of the preview thumbnails loaded you can see that these are all functional files. There's not like a question mark or like a broken thumbnail icon sitting on any of these. And now we're off to the races and we can do with those whatever we want. So beyond that, let's say you're still scanning for stuff that might still be missing. You can let this complete the scan and you can go over here into the sidebar, into the tree view here, and you can look at all of the JPEGs, or if you know you're looking for a PNG file, you can look at all of these and then you can go through one by one and double check what all these pictures are in order to see if that is in fact the one that you are looking for. And then once you find the one that's missing or has been giving you trouble, you can then save that image and then you can recover it again to your computer and then you can go on with your day. And you've got a couple options over on the sidebar to view different files. You've got the file view, which allows you to go into the different types of files themselves, or you can do the tree view, which just splits it up into two different ways, depending on how you prefer to sort through your files. Either way will allow you to see all the different types of files that have been recovered and allow you to pop into like, say the photos, go to the JPEGs and see which ones are new and then you can just again double click on them to preview them to see which was the one that you're looking for. Not necessarily all file types are going to be immediately previewable simply because of file size or what have you but a lot of the ones that you can just double click and you can see if they are in fact recoverable by just previewing them. And then if you find the ones that you're looking for and you're done you can just hit the you can either let it complete because this is only going to take another eight minutes or you can hit the red stop button here and we can say, yeah, we're done scanning. It'll warn me that it might not have found everything that it possibly could, but then we can just do one last search through here to see if we want anything else. And then once we're done recovering all of it, we can just hit home 
in order to go back to the main menu where you can select a different drive to recover from if you didn't find what you were looking for or if you think it's on another drive or another part of your system entirely. All right, so that was a look at how you can recover your recently deleted files using the Tenorshare data recovery software. If you're looking for something like this because you've accidentally destroyed some of your files or they've gone missing or what have you, maybe you've got a failing hard drive that your computer's running off of, whatever it may be, you can pop over to their website and you can grab this software. It includes recovery support for a broad variety of different file types, both photos, videos, audio, office documents, emails, and some other assorted file types. And right now, I do know for a fact they are having an end of the year Christmas and New Year's sale where you can pick up this product for up to 75% off. And their pricing includes a one month license for $45, a one year license for 55, or a life <coughs> or a lifetime license for $60. And this includes um, licensing for one computer, free technical support, lifetime upgrades and support for all Windows operating systems seven and up and that also includes 11 and also the ability to recover data from a crashed and non-booting operating system so if you're looking for something that can do a really good job of recovering all of your different lost or missing files check out tenorshare for ddig it's a really nice solution for finding all your files and remarkably easy to use and i would definitely recommend it because so far it has found all the different files that I was looking for when I was testing it, both from formatted drives, janky old broken SD cards, and also checking out different hard drives on my machine. So I will put these links in the video description below, along with a coupon code so that you can get this for the sale price. And then uh, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, throw any questions you might have in the comment section below. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.